And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with your daily StarCraft 2 commentary fix. I am an enabler giving you what you need. Uh, I assume you need it because you are here watching it. Um, I am the Blue Terran in the Northeast up against Salmas, uh, the Red Protoss in the Southwest. The map is Steps of War. Um, and I'm always surprised with this map because it is so short. Uh, I consider this the entrance to the expansion here. And look, I can actually fit the ramps to each expansion on the same screen, checking out the Earth Sadak in the center there. There's that calf, it's just a little baby right now, it's so big though. I always forget that when I play this map, that uh, the rush distance is so short, it does seem like a long way to go on this map. I, is, I believe it is a, technically a four player map, this would be another spawning point here and here, but those could just be expansions. Uh, this is uh, just always surprised that this is a small map. Two gateways coming off right off the bat for Cell Mass. So I am expecting uh, early push from him. I am getting a tech lab right off the bat because I want Marauders to prevent against that early push. Cybernetics Core is on the way for him as he is not getting any gas yet. He's still Chrono Boosting the Nexus, and of course he's Supply Lock now, so that Chrono Boost could just go all to waste, does it? No, the, he will start uh, using it eventually. My Orbital Command is up. Second Barracks is out. Getting a Reactor uh, so I can get some Marines out uh, to help fight against anything that's coming, but it doesn't look like anything's coming. He just has the four zealots out on the map. I still only have three marines, so he does have quite a bit of a lead here. But now that the one marauder is out, uh, and I do have this block off, it should be pretty even. He wouldn't really be able to push with those zealots. So he is mass going to stalkers instead. Uh, while I am researching stim pack, getting a uh, few more marauders out no marines coming out as i do get a third barracks gonna get a tech lab on that as well engineering bay going up as well as a factory so i'm doing quite a bit of multitasking here early on and oh it looks like i supply locked myself as well so both of us doing a bad job of keeping track of supply of course army they need food um I believe it was Napoleon that said that uh, your army can only march as fast as its stomach. Something like that. That's what he meant. <laughs> and that's what's important. Learning from Napoleon and using it in StarCraft. Oh man, that's a stretch. Just sticking with the one factory it looks like with that tech lab add-on going straight into a starport. And here I go for a push. No, I'm just checking out the expansion uh, to make sure that no pylons are there. There have been a couple games where that has happened, so I want to make sure that doesn't happen again. S more stalkers coming out. He is going for the expansion already, so that is going to be going up faster than mine is, uh, which just started right there, as you can see. He is going to be researching charge. I, on the other hand, of researching siege tech, getting a second starport out. And Siege Tank is on the way. Siege Tanks are so good against the Stalkers, especially right here. Oh, but it, what is that? A Dark Templar. Oh, I hate those guys with a passion. Mostly because I never see them in time. But I am continuing to mass up Marines and Marauders. He is getting a Templar Archive, so will we be seeing... Um, Oh, Forge going on up right now, too. So are we going to be seeing High Templars and Dark Templars? That is pretty strange as far as I can see uh, for Protoss builds. You usually go for one or the other. Missile turrets going up in the back of my base. Uh, because I'm awesome, I want this SCV working overtime, and I don't want to split his work. Uh, that's not uh, something that you guys should do on a regular basis. I need to break that habit. He's going to be researching Psionic Storm, so we should... Be oh, there they are. Oh, these guys and these guys. Oh, I hate them. Oh. 
Mostly because they're so effective against me. If they sucked against me, I wouldn't care less. I couldn't care less if he, if, if he sent those out. Three photon cannons on the way. That's what he is. That's what he built that forge for, apparently. Uh, and he's going for uh, to protect the Banshee harass, just like I went to protect the Void Ray harass at my main. Of course, I didn't do it at my expansion, uh, but I do have them scheduled to go up. He is going for the Kaidarin. Kaidarin um, amulet. I, I I don't know what that's supposed. to how that's supposed to be pronounced, but that will give these guys extra energy, I believe, is what that does. Two more Dark Templars being warped in. Oh, right as I move in. Oh, this could spell doom for me. Those Dark Templars could ruin the day. Oh, look at them. They're slicing right through. Oh, but he Psy Storms right on top of them. Oh, but they lived. They live to slice another day. And he's going to be going for the counterattack here. But luckily I do have a missile turret up. So that I will be able to see those Dark Templars. And they run... Oh, no! Oh, they had the full opportunity to run right past everything and start taking out drones. But they chose not to. So I will be able to clean this up with minimal damage. It doesn't look like he was able to get any pot shots off on any of my uh, harvesters. So I still will hold on to the lead. Meanwhile, he is massing up a couple more Dark Templars. Uh, going... For a wow, that is a lot of gateways. Uh, that is an eight gate, if you will. I do have a banshee on the way uh, because I did see that he was sticking with the ground army. Uh, he doesn't even have a star port out, so or star gate. What's it called first? Protoss? Oh my gosh, I'm blanking right now. For me, it's called a stargate. For him, I'm pretty sure it's called a star port. Um, not that I see that big of a difference. I am actually going for a third base here. Going for an early third on the high yield because I had so many minerals. I am spending them. Look at that. Oh my gosh. But I do need uh, maybe a fourth barracks, a second factory, third uh, starport to keep up um, with my income because it is so high. Look at that. 1,500 and uh, four gas, so 1,500 minerals, four gas, and oh, look at that, more minerals coming in. I More than I have anything to do with. He is also going for a third base here, but he did not go for the high yield like I did because this one is risky because, of course, it can be seen with the Zelnaga Tower, but he did not have anything there. And Archon's being warped in... That's kind of strange. I'm not sure if they were High Templars or Dark Templars that got warped into these Archons, but either way, um, I feel like he... The Dark Templars and the High Templars, effectively, I don't know why he went for the Archons. Oh, look at all those Zealots out on the field. He is researching Blink as well. Once again, kind of curious as to why he was going for that, and since I did see the Dark Templars, I am going for a Raven out on the field. Of course, that will screw up my micro, most likely. Looks like I was able... Yes, I was able to keep them on separate hotkeys, so I will be able to stim up my Marines. Of course, I mentioned that earlier. It's worth mentioning again. If you keep all the rate all these on one hotkey, including the Raven. The Raven takes priority, and you will not be able to stim pack with your infantry with that Raven on the field in your hotkey. It will be asking where you want to put the auto turret, and of course, I say nowhere. And there, even with the psionic storms, I am able to get all that damage in, and auto turret going down, doing nothing. In come the Charging Zealots, and oh, they are able to get quite a bit, and I stim up, and oh, these Siege Tanks come in to clean up, and oh, just one guy remaining, going into the Mineral Line to take out the probes. These Zealots should be enough to clean up these Marauders. Oh, yes they are. How much... 
What does he have left on him? Auto turret finally getting some work in. Um, looks like I wasn't even out. Oh, there he goes to take it out. Uh, so that auto turret dies with no kills in its name. Another Banshee out. Uh, once again, that does a lot of damage. Look at that. 12 damage, 2 attacks, 6 range. Why wouldn't you want that in your army? How much does it cost? Let's see here. 100, 200. So it is rather gas heavy. Uh, but if you've got an excess of gas, use it. It will be your friend. Just mix it in with your regular army. There's really no reason not to. And here, oh, siege tanks going up, able to get some damn some pot shots on those elves before they able to come in. And oh, the, no, just 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 no. Here he cycles his stalkers back. Looks like they were going to be going in for support. Oh, weapons upgrade number two on the infantry going to be researched. It's been a while, I believe, since I was able to get that. Of course, it does need the armory, so I should be able to produce Thors. Uh, doesn't look like I am going to be going for that, though. Uh, no straight siege tanks. Refinery is tapped out, and there go the SCVs to uh, the high yield here, which is almost mined out. Look at that. And... Planetary Fortress is warped in to protect the High Eld, of course, with Missile Turrets in case Dark Templars come in and Missile Turrets in the back in case Void Rays come in. And here I go for the attack. The Charge Zealots are not going to be enough. He should be sending this army back because for uh, some defense back in the base. But of course, no, he wants to stick with the attack so they all die. Bad rally point on those stalkers, and they will go down as well. Weapons upgrade going up on the vehicles as well as for the siege tanks and uh, Hellions and Thors if I ever get around to building those, and I don't think I ever do in almost any game. Uh, Thors, maybe. Hellions, almost never. And down go the <laughs> Zealots once again, and he is forced to GG. Uh, I was able to take out one of his two mining bases. Uh, he was going to, he was building one at the high yield, but I just had so much. But look how gas heavy that is. That is insane. And wait, he actually hasn't left yet, even though he GG'd. He's still in the game. And now I'm starting to go into his main, taking out his production facilities. He's down to just five wharf gates, and there he goes. He finally leaves the game. Looking at the income at the end, oh my gosh, 32 to 60. Um, even if he had about 20 there, I had still a hefty lead in the income. Um, he was still, look, I mean, look at that, 400 minerals, 2,000 gas, as opposed to mine, 8,700, 8,800, and I'm supply locked at uh, 153, really um, just out macroed. Um, even though I had so much unspent at the end, um, that, that, that game was clearly mine, uh, thanks to these guys all right there. Banshees, look at that, one kill, two kills, uh, nothing too great for them, but I, I, I can't emphasize it enough, Banshees, they're good enough to be in your regular army, they counter, uh, they go with marines, they go with marauders, they go with the siege tanks, right, pair them with vikings, and you, you really can attack both at the same time. You can split them off, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. It was a rather long one, a little bit back and forth on um, a map that I l believe is designed to go back and forth. That's why it's so short of distance here. This is kind of your battlefield in the middle. Uh, and But of course, we didn't really see that many battles there. But I hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. I'll see you then. Bye.